All right, everybody, now we're gonna talk about that AJ page that you see in the Accuracy First um, page, all right? So when you come in and you calculate your AJ, you're gonna see seven, eight, nine mile an hour, something like that. Um, you may see four or five, I don't, I don't know what gun you've got plugged in, but you're gonna see some number. Um, and that's gonna tell you how much wind it takes to move you up or down by 0.1 mils. Now, the, the Kestrel, if you come in and plug your wind speed into wind one, the Kestrel will calibrate AJ for you and adjust your elevation hold, all right? But I never, 98% of the time, I don't have winds plugged in uh, other than three o'clock, four mile an hour, all right? Because I use the Kestrel as a tool and not as a crutch, all right? And, um, I need a way of knowing how much to adjust my elevation hold by when I've got some full value wind component, all right, for AJ. So what the AJ page is doing is it's coming in and it's finding that wind speed um, or what wind speed it takes to move me up or down by 0.1. It's a knowledge thing, it's an information thing. The Kestrel still calculates it if you plug in wind's the wind speed one. It's the only thing, uh, or wind speed one's the only wind speed that affects your AJ. So if you've got anything plugged into wind speed two, it doesn't matter, it's not gonna affect your elevation component. Wind speed one is the only thing that affects elevation, whether it's headwinds or tailwinds or uh, aerodynamic jump, but that's that's what AJ's doing. Um, I don't want you to think that the Kestrel doesn't calculate AJ for you, it does. Um, it's just a tool that we teach out at Actors First um, and, and a, a method of managing your system and this formula makes it easier for the guys to be able to do that.